morning. Uh, so my name is Anne Ozdoua, and I have to apologize in advance. I'm not a surgeon, and I'm not even a physician. Uh, I'm uh, an engineer working with uh, Sharam, who is the surgeon who invented this, uh, this device and who could not be here today. Uh, and we are both involved in a startup company which is developing this uh, hopefully as a, as a product. Um, so what we're trying to address here is one of the most challenging complications of uh, local rectal resections, which is, uh, as, you, as you know, anastomotic leaks. And as a result, there are about 250,000 diverting ostomies, which are performed every year uh, in the US and in Europe to, uh, to protect these high-risk anastomoses. And uh, of course, this is a, you know, something that, that can be improved. It's prone to complications. It is, of course, very much debilitating for the patients. And it's uh, expensive for payers because you have to account for a repeat surgery to reverse or take down the ostomy, as well as the cost of uh, maintaining the ostomy, as well as the ostomy-related uh, complications. Uh, so there's basically an alignment to, uh, to you know, change this practice. Patients would love a way to, uh, to recover without these ostomies. Physicians would like to reduce complications and pairs, uh, obviously, need to reduce costs. Um, so what we have developed is uh, an intracolonic uh, temporary bypass device. This is not a new concept. You know, putting a bypass over an anastomosis is something that has been done for the past 30 years. Uh, there have been numerous attempts to, uh, to develop um, similar devices, but the challenge with these devices is really how do you anchor it or anchor them in the colon uh, in a way that is, uh, of course, uh, minimally invasive, doesn't create any complication, and perfectly reversible because you want to be able to remove these devices once the anastomosis uh, has healed uh, perfectly. Uh, so this is really the innovation uh, in, in this uh, Colovac device. Uh, it's the anchoring piece. And we're using a combination of a radial force, which is provided by a stent, uh, just a you know, very much uh, traditional nitinol stent, uh, as well as vacuum aspiration, which is provided by uh, a suction that we're essentially um, uh, doing uh, over the stent. So we're sucking the colonic wall onto the stent. This anchor, if you will, is placed about 10 to 20 centimeters above the anastomosis, and then we're deploying a sheath that covers the anastomosis and goes down to the anus and just I mechanically isolates uh, the anastomosis from any feces going down the colon. So we're deploying this device right after the anastomosis is created. Uh, it's deployed uh, and anchored purely endoluminally, and it's left in place uh, during 10 to 14 days uh, after which it is uh, removed uh, without the need for, uh, for surgery during an endoscopic procedure and maybe in the future without even the need for a, for a colonoscope. So this is what the device looks like. And, uh, and of course, uh, again, a few pictures of the device. It comes preloaded in an introducer, uh, which is a... Uh, um, inserted endoluminally and across the anastomosis just after uh, stapling. And then you deploy the stent in a push-pull mechanism. Uh, it opens in the uh, colon. It anchors when you put the suction, uh, uh, when you turn the suction on, and then you just deploy the, the sheath, the covering sheath, down to the anus. Uh, so we've done a lot of preclinical validation in order to... Uh, first developed the prototypes. Before, before we did that study, this particular study, we did a, approximately 60 to 70 pigs just to figure it out and uh, get the uh, right uh, you know, balance between the radial force, the vacuum, and not creating, of course, any colonic lesions. But then we did that study to evaluate safety, time to migration, and the uh, preliminary efficacy on anastomotic healing. So we implanted 11 female pigs. Well, actually, we implanted six of them and used five as controls. And we used a very imperfect uh, anastomosis model that was on purpose, of course, uh, with three equidistant sutures, leaving very large gaps. We inserted the device, as I just described, and deployed the sheath. Uh, and then uh, it was uh, you know, connected uh, with the vacuum on until it was basically expelled uh, from the, the GI tract uh, by, the, by the pigs, by the animals. So this is what our pigs look like. They carry a backpack 
in which you have a vial, an, an aspiration vial, which uh, uh, maintains the vacuum active during the whole time of implantation. And as I just said, this was left in place until spontaneous uh, migration. After which we removed the colon and we did uh, histology uh, examinations on both the anastomosis site as well as the anchoring site uh, for the device. Uh, so these are the results we were able to deliver and deploy uh, all the, di the, the devices uh, successfully. And in the group where the device uh, was implanted, we had one Im animal died uh, just after six days because of uh, an ischemia, which uh, upon histology evaluation was deemed unrelated to the device, but of course related to the surgery procedure. Uh, the average time to migration was uh, about nine days. Uh, we expect this would be longer in patients because the pigs are extremely active uh, when we leave them <laughs> with, uh, with the device implanted. Uh, and they're not very delicate, uh, let's say, with, uh, with the device and, uh, and the aspiration tube. So, uh, so we were hoping this would be uh, you know, um, uh, longer in patients, and, and we think it can stay for 10 to 14 days in patients, which is the duration we, uh, we would need to get uh, um, good anastomotic healing. Uh, there was no stenosis, moderate fibr fibrosis, and on histology, uh, the mucosal lesions we observed were just similar to, uh, to that of a, a traditional stent. And in the control group, we, uh, all the animals had a high-grade uh, stenosis, uh, which was sustained by, by fibrosis uh, due to the, uh, the very imperfect uh, anastomotic model. Uh, so just a quick conclusion. So uh, the device seems safe, of course. Uh, it's very early. Uh, but we think it could promote healing of these uh, anastomoses, uh, at least for now in the porcine mo model. And we're working on a safety clinical trial, which should uh, start enrolling patients um, in just a few weeks.